If there's one ingredient I think we should be eating more of, it's mussels. They're sustainable, they're great for you, full of protein and omega fatty acids. And they're super simple to cook. I'm going to show you the fastest way to cook them, the French way. Lots of provincial flavours here with tomatoes, French shallots and the classic hard herbs of thyme and some bay leaves. So first of all, get yourself a large saute pan just like this one. This saute pan happens to be made in France, so a French dish with a French pan works a treat. And you want to heat the pan up until that thermo signal is solid red. Good glug of olive oil. So in the south of France, when they make their dishes, typically there's not a lot of butter and cream. That's usually the north of France. So we're going to stick to the tradition. So lots of olive oil is used instead and tomatoes. So you can see I've put about two tablespoons of oil in there. You'll need about a kilo of mussels and we'll just swirl that. And while that's warming up, some French shallots or echelots, we're just going to slice them. This is a dish that takes, I'd say, 10 minutes all up, and that's including the chopping. I know so many people who say, I order mussels when I go to the restaurant, but I never cook them at home. And there's no reason why you can't, because these days, mussels are readily available. We'll also need two cloves of garlic and we'll just roughly chop them. So essentially we want these sort of five main ingredients to form a delicious broth to go with our mussels, okay? Let's add them to the pan. And we don't want them to caramelise too much, we want them to soften. Give that a toss. Great. While that's happening, we'll prepare our tomatoes. Two ripe tomatoes. I've been a little bit pedantic and I've taken the skins off, but by all means, you don't need to do that. You can even just throw in some cherry tomatoes. So I'm just doing this for presentation. And again, just roughly chopping the tomato. Great. And the tomatoes can go in. Now, naturally, you'll want to put salt in at this stage. Don't add salt because the mussels will be salty enough. And for the herbs, I've got quite a lot of thyme here. We can pick it out later, but this is really going to perfume our broth. So in with lots of thyme and two bay leaves. Now, when it comes to mussels, these days they come cry so they're clean for you. They're pretty much pot ready. But what we're looking for is mussels that are not broken up. And you see how this one's slightly open? This is what we want. You know that you've got a good mussel there if it starts to close up. And you can see, see how that's closing up? That's a key indication of a fresh mussel. If you get mussels that aren't cryvac, just give them a scrub and just take off the beard so you just pull it out. These particular mussels are blue mussels, blue-lipped mussels, and you can see that by that just that little blue tinge on the shell. Gorgeous Australian mussels. They're so good for you. All right, this is looking good. So we'll add our mussels. Shake off any excess water and do give them a rinse too because we don't want them to be too salty. So rinsing in fresh water is a good idea. A little shake. And this is why you want a big pan like this, just so they can cook quite evenly. And some liquid, some white wine, a little Chardonnay works nicely with this. Now, you want a sauté pan that has a lid. This one's great because it's clear, so we can actually see when the mussels start to open. And there's no time to this. When the mussels are open, they're ready. While they're cooking, try not to open the lid. Just give it a shake to ensure that they're evenly distributed. Looking good. I wish you could smell how amazing this is. That white wine, the muscle, the tomatoes, all those herbs, fantastic. They've opened up, they're ready to eat. So a large bowl, I mean, you could put this in the middle of the table as is, if you like, and we'll add the mussels. I don't mind if the hard herbs go in there too. It looks fantastic, you just can eat around them. This is one of those dishes you eat with your hands. And see all that broth? See, a lot of that liquid came out of the mussels as they were cooking. Mixed in the white wine, just fantastic. Last couple of mussels on the top. And then all those juices. This lovely broth will just pour over the top. 
just allow it to form puddles in each of those shells. Fantastic. Now, you don't serve this with pasta or rice. You do it the French way. Crusty bread. We'll cut a few pieces. We'll pop that on the side. That's my mussels provençal. Very simple to make, very French, and it took no time at all. Forget about having mussels out when you're at the restaurant. Make that at home. You'll impress your guests, your families, or your friends.